My name is Fred McClure, class of 1976, Texas A&M University. Currently, I am the managing partner of SNR Denton, an international law firm. Uh, I'm the managing partner in our Washington, D.C. office. Most of my career has been spent in the public policy space. Uh, I served uh, as assistant to the president for legislative affairs for President George H.W. Bush, special assistant to the president uh, for uh, legislative affairs for President Ronald Reagan, uh, associate deputy attorney general of the United States, and legislative director to United States Senator John Tower. Actually, I didn't choose agricultural economics as my major initially. Uh, when I entered school at uh, Texas A&M, I was actually a biochemistry major. Biochemistry at the time was in the College of Agriculture, and I had this uh, thought that I wanted to grow up and be a physician. Uh, sometime before I got to organic chemistry, I made the decision to switch to agricultural economics, uh, and I thought enjoyed that because of the business part of agriculture and the taking that uh, as a basis for my ultimate law degree. Well, probably uh, the service as student body president of uh, the university. I was very involved in student government activities as well as residence halls association uh, activities and uh, clubs and associations uh, associated with uh, the College of Agriculture uh, and the St. Cadets. But uh, I think probably my service as student body president probably had more of an impact. But I think collectively, uh, when you put them all together, it was the well-rounded outside or other education, if you will, that I got at Texas a and I think probably the opportunity to be in service-type roles in the federal government, uh, in other words, being in a position where I have been able to advise presidents, uh, senators, an attorney general of the United States, uh, and also corporate titans uh, on how they can be involved, how, how their involvement in the political process and in the policy process, uh, the impact that those actions have uh, on American people's lives and actually lives of people all around the world. And so I guess probably uh, that part of my experience uh, fits most neatly into that category. If I remember correctly, I believe I was in the first honor registry uh, group that was chosen to. Uh, for this wonderful award, which is a recognition, of course, for contributions that agricultural economics graduates uh, have had and their activities following uh, their time here at the university. Named, of course, after one of our longtime leaders of the agricultural uh, economics department, Dr. Timms. It is uh, a great honor to be uh, so selected uh, by your peers, if you will, uh, to uh, be recognized for your contributions and the fact that you, as an agricultural economics graduate from Texas A&M uh, University, uh, represent the college and the department more specifically uh, in a credible and uh, hopefully uh, a credible and a meaningful way. One of the biggest challenges uh, of life, I think, particularly when one begins uh, participation in the work world is balancing these things and, and, and family and other types of activities uh, just sort of layer on on top of what, of course, is your main responsibility, which is to hopefully figure out a way to continue to put bread on the table. Uh, balance is a very difficult thing, and you have to make difficult choices sometimes. I remember it was extremely difficult uh, balancing work and family when I was working in the White House. My day was quite long and it started quite early and oftentimes uh, I didn't get to see my kids until late in the evening, which I think probably uh, influenced the fact that they stay up pretty late now as a result of, of doing it at such a young age. But it is it is a challenge uh, for one to, to, to balance those things, uh, but you have to keep at it. I mean, it's something that you just have to keep working on because uh, you don't want either of them to suffer uh, in that process. I was fortunate to serve after I left Texas A&M. Uh, I was fortunate to come back as, as a result of an appointment by our Governor George W. Bush. 
to serve as a member of the Board of Regents of the Texas Tech and University System. Other than financial support that many of us give back to the university, either as a member of the Association of Former Students, on whose board I also served two times, or the 12th Man Foundation, uh, or any of the various uh, development organizations associated with the colleges, my opportunity to come back as a regent and ultimately serve as vice chairman of that group uh, was, I think, a time when I was able to give probably the most back to my alma mater and to the university, uh, even though it was in a capacity that affected the entire system. Uh, it's important that this flagship institution continue to be strong in our great system that we have here in Texas. And when you add that to the extension of the experiment station, both of which are closely tied to the Department of Agricultural Economics and the rest of the, the college, uh, it provides an opportunity to provide leadership in our service capacity uh, as well as our education and research capacity as a land grant institution. Uh, I hope that a student would choose not to perhaps have as many jobs as I've had during my career because that list gets to be fairly long. Fortunately, each of those opportunities I had, though, were moves in a direction that uh, was what I consider something more than lateral, uh, but in a direction where I was able to contribute more uh, and hopefully I gave back more. Uh, I think that you have to realize that in the final analysis, uh, it generally is not your aptitude, but your attitude with that will help determine where your altitude is in life. And so one needs to be willing to realize that they have to be competitive and to continue to have a positive attitude, which allows them then to soar to the heights that they might choose for themselves uh, in terms of giving back, in terms of professional accomplishment, uh, in terms of ultimately service uh, in uh, this country. Don't be afraid to make choices. Don't be afraid to, you know, I sort of like to look at, at life as a big old highway, you know, six, eight lane highway, and you're kind of going down and you've got all these exits that you can choose and you decide to take an off ramp. You take that off ramp and you get down there and maybe you'll find something interesting and exciting. Uh, but then if not, there's generally an on ramp to follow so you can get back on the freeway and continue experiencing uh, what uh, lies ahead. Don't be afraid to make a decision and then choose to do something else. Not unlike what I did when I chose uh, to uh, change to the College of Agriculture, I mean to the Department of Agricultural Economics from the Department of Biochemistry. Uh, I made a decision, uh, and I had thought I had that decision made many years before in terms of what I wanted to do professionally. And I decided to do something different. And uh, I'm glad I made that choice. Uh, I was not afraid to make that choice. Make sure you make choices based upon as much information as you possibly can. Uh, and then don't be afraid to try something new. You have a tremendous opportunity uh, while a student here at Texas A&M University uh, to have experiences that are just absolutely unfathomable. I mean, the, the numbers of clubs and, and organizations, whether it's through the MSC or whether it's through various colleges at the university uh, or whether it's through our, the Greek system here, the opportunities that you have to exercise and learn leadership skills uh, are tremendous. And on top of that, it is a fantastic educational uh, experience here at uh, this university. So I think that you need to try to be involved in as many things as you possibly can, maintaining a balance so that you also, you know, get decent grades, in fact, maybe fantastic grades. Uh, but utilize these years because once these college years are gone, they'll never come back again. And that's what I think uh, one needs to focus on during a wonderful time here in this place.